I actually love dipping my Oreos in juice, which might freak some people out. Deep breaths. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Oreo mug cake recipe. I got a couple requests for this. I had no idea what this was until like a few weeks ago. It looks really good. I have a bunch of Oreos right back there, so let's try it. Okay, there are lots of snacks over here, but let's put these aside. Let's see. I think I have a few Oreos left in this container. I have a brand new box right down there. Let's use what's in here. Okay, so I have the Oreos right here. I have a glass bowl, just so you can see what I'm doing on the inside. And according to the recipes, it doesn't really matter how many Oreos you put. Some people do four, some people do six or more. All you need to do is make sure that you put enough milk in there. So I'm gonna use almond milk. All right, here are my Oreos. Now I'm just gonna crush them with a fork. Oh my God. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought. Let me not use a fork and try something else. Okay, that's better. I'm using the back of this thicker butter knife to break these apart. And then once you have them broken up a good amount, I noticed that it gets a lot easier if you grab whatever thing you're using and start smashing it into the side of the bowl or mug that you're using. This is gonna be so good, I already know. I just know. By the way, I haven't eaten yet, so I should probably eat something before I eat this. Okay, I also just decided to put a couple extra Oreos in there just so that way it looks more aesthetically pleasing when I take it out of the microwave. So I just like smash them in this bag real quick because it's honestly a lot faster. So that's a tip if you feel like it's taking too long smashing everything in the mug. Just put it in a plastic bag and just go like this. Works just fine. Okay, look at that. So now that it looks kind of like dirt, we're gonna put the almond milk in. I'm gonna be using this Almond Breeze almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you want. Am I gonna get hit in the face? Got it. Ooh, I think it went in my eye. Okay. So you're gonna take a little bit of almond milk at a time. Some people I've seen in the recipes, they measure out about a fourth a cup. I'm not gonna measure it because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just gonna put a little bit in at a time and then I'll mix it in with a fork. And we're just gonna smash it in, let it absorb really nice. And then once you feel like you need a little bit more, put a little bit more. Oh my God. I just dropped you. Well, not really, but we're good. <laughs> Can I just film one video without these kinds of things happening? like? I don't think so. Okay, I put some more almond milk and we're just gonna mix it in some more. I actually just put two more Oreos again, just because I want it to look extra nice for you guys. So now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for, not the oven. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this into the, oh my God. So now I'm gonna pop this into the oven for, oh my God, why do I keep saying oven? I'm rushing this video because I have work in a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Deep breaths. Nice exhale, okay. So now I'm gonna stick this into the microwave for around two minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and then we'll give it a try. Oh, by the way, if you have bowls or mugs or anything like this that has the gold rims on the outside, don't put these in the microwave. They're probably gonna spark, um, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> and while that's cooking, I'm gonna grab some food real quick because I don't wanna eat those on an empty stomach. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried Halal Guys? Because <laughs> I'm gonna put those in for another minute, but I just tried them for the first time like a week ago and this is my second time getting them and it's so good. I did kind of a mini mukbang trying this for the first time. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. It'll probably be a short video. I wasn't sure if I was going to post it or not, but I feel like I should. So if you're interested, I'll probably post it soon. Mm. I'm going to put that in for another minute. 
I also want to just say thank you real quick to everybody that's been watching my videos and interacting with me. I've definitely been getting some more views than usual since I am a very small channel still and I'm really excited about it. It seems like you guys like these kinds of videos, but let me know what other recipes you want me to try because I love food. And speaking of food, the Oreos are probably done. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, it's done. Look how pretty that is. I decided to put some sprinkles on it just to make it 10 times cuter. These little round sprinkles are my absolute favorite. Let me know, do you prefer the long sprinkles or the round ones? Cause these are the best. Okay, let's go in for a taste test. Oh my gosh. I would just caution you to be careful because it's really, really hot coming out of the microwave. So let's take a bite. Okay, you ready? Cheers. <laughs> wow. Tastes like Oreos. <laughs> but the texture is so nice. It's kind of more spongy, like a cake. Mm hmm The sprinkles, they're definitely aesthetically pleasing, but more so I think that they make a difference in the texture of the cake. Yeah. Because if you just had the Oreo in there, it'd be very soft, obviously. But with the sprinkles, it gives it like a nice crunch. Mm-hmm. This is honestly very satisfying, like, I barely ate half and I already feel like I could save this for later. <laughs> it's definitely very chocolatey. I'm not a huge chocolate person, like chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, not really my favorite thing, but this is good. <gasps> you know what this would be good with? Fruit, like if you sliced up some strawberries or like raspberries or something, I think fresh fruit would really make a difference here. I'm gonna make this more often. This honestly would be a great snack if like you don't feel like making a whole cake but you want something chocolatey or even like if you get the golden Oreos that would be interesting. I haven't seen that one yet. Maybe I'll try that one next but instead of just eating a couple of Oreos just the way they are turn them into a cake like it honestly stretches the ingredients out more and I feel like you'll be more satisfied eating it this way. Mmm. Mm. I actually love dipping my Oreos in juice, which might freak some people out. It's funny, like, I eat, like, the, the weirdest food combinations according to other people. I don't think they're weird, but I like dipping my Oreos not in almond milk, but in citrusy juice, like, grapefruit juice, orange juice, just whatever juice I have. It's so much better, and it's, like, way more refreshing than the almond milk, in my opinion, okay? If you have something to say about it... You can say it, but respectfully. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna save the rest of this for later. If you have tried this out, let me know how you liked it. Or if you haven't tried it out yet, let me know how it goes because this is really, really easy. This took me like a few minutes. Like it took me a couple minutes to prep it and then a couple minutes in the microwave, like not long at all. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this from me. I'm gonna be making a ton. It'll make me really, really happy. And it'll also make me really happy if you like this video and leave some comments. I would love to interact with you and I will see you in my next one. Also, let me know what other recipes you want me to try or just other video ideas. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.